Mm. Bokoblin looks like... People know how Bokoblin looks like. What I'm trying to say is... A Bokoblin's most distinguished feature is its nose, which you'll find squished upon its face. Like, gloof. Its ears, on the other hand, are quite floppy. And its horn goes swift. Um, the description of yours. I can say get the picture. What's going on? I have to take a picture. Oh, uh, hello. I appreciate you helping me with medicine. There was a rough patch there, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. And me hearing about the Saint Shroud that Gerudo. Oh, Gerudo Town is dealing with? Well, it, it's had me pretty worried. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play this game again sometime. Then I'll go to Gerudo Town before coming here. But she's safe for Gerudo Escort. I'm sure they will take good care of her. Ronso is back to working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. Oh, sorry. If you don't watch out, I'll start talking your ear off again. You've been a good listener. Thanks for that. This Kilton, he moved in to Tarantown Town the other day. He asked me to make a sculpture of a monster for him. Sorry, sorry. I am an awful describer of things. But does, isn't Kilton good with craft works? I would draw you a detailed picture of a Bokoblin if I could, but there is no art to be found in, in the bones of my body. But fret not, I Kilton will describe the monster to you with more enthusiasm and much zest. Surely that will help. Uh, well, it would be better if I had a detailed picture to refer to. How about this picture, I don't have a picture anymore, do I? Oh well, I do have my companion already. Uh, yeah, okay. I have to choose it. Can I go to the companion? No. Uh, it's a picture indeed. Uh, yes, this is a monster to be sure. But it's not a Bokoblin. Bokoblin's ears are more, how do I say, floppy. Their horns are sure to go swift. If only I had a little picture of Bokoblin. Well. Wonderful picture, wonderful. But it isn't suited for making a monster sculpture. Okay. What about you now? Oh, good morning. Thanks to Hudson, Terry Town has grown rather really famous. Are you here to see Terry Town's unit bell? Ah, oh, yeah, somebody mentioned. Uh, you know, there is a god statue in the area as well. Hudson uh, even had his wedding at the bell. I was here, apparently. Probably. I hope when Metzel grows up, she'll want to have her wedding here, just like her parents. Oh, I, I didn't expect that. Bye. Okay, did you find her? Good, you found her. We were talking about how Hudson and Ronson had their wedding ceremony here. I do hope we're still around to see Madison's wedding ceremony. Why wouldn't we be? You're still a young woman, dear. <laughs> That's right. Savota. That means good morning, Garuda. Madison taught me. Sounds neat, huh? You know Madison? She's going to be my friend for always. But she had to move to this place called Garuda Town to the southwest because of something called a tradition. I heard it's really far away and really hot, but also really cold. So I'm gonna eat a bunch of a bunch and exercise a lot to get even healthier. That way I can go play with her sometime. Mm. So now I eat just cake anymore. Time for dream home. Yeah, can I have one? Welcome to Hudson Construction. 
with Madison off on her own little adventure, it looks like can resume working on Dream Homes. I'm a little uneasy though, there's some kind of massive sand shroud in the Rudo Desert right now after all. But there's nothing I can do about that, I'll just keep her I'll just keep her home safe until she returns. And in the meantime, I need to buckle down and get to work. <laughs> Hudson Construction's whole business is built around supporting our customers as they assemble their dream homes. Maybe you're thinking a little basic like kitchen or a fully furnished, be furnished room or something more. We are here for you. Maybe you want to add a nice space to display some of your favorite pictures or a place to care for your beloved horse. Oh, I can make my own stable. But that's nothing compared to what's really important and uh, what all of our customers truly enjoy, which is the opportunity to assemble all these individual rooms on their own. You pick, you pick the rooms you want and then you can put them together the way you always imagined. That's the real core of the service we provide. We even give a little commemorative gift to celebrate starting down the path to dream home ownership. You know our whole family is in your debt for all your help with medicine. If you're interested in a dream home, I'll set you up with a discount. It's my way of saying Stark, so you know, thank you. What's a dream home? <laughs> That's on Structure is your number one choice in home building partnerships. We are here to make sure your to make your dream of building the ideal home a reality. Mm. What's our secret? Why? It is Hudson Construction's unique room by room building style. With our revolutionary system, you take the rooms that we sell here and assemble them yourself. We hope you'll make Hudson Construction your partner for your home building wants and needs. <sighs> I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually, but the script uh, Hudson wrote for me is a real mouthful. Dream home, please. Ah. We're interested in a dream home. That's great. There is a vacant plot in a prime location. I'm sure you'll like it. Uh, ordinarily, the lane alone will cost 3,000 rupees. That was the price of the house, wasn't it? Or was it 30? But as a special, just for you, I can offer. Oh. A lane rooms combination deal for only 1500. Uh, what do you say to that? I can't yet. <sighs> oh, I can see you're excited, but I'm sorry, you don't seem to have enough rupees on hand. Please come again when you have the 1500. Oh, okay, I will. And I still gotta spend 50 on that. I, I may pay him eventually, but yeah. This is already more than enough. Mm. Oh. Home, please. <laughs> yeah. What a deal, I'll buy it. We're glad to have you as a customer. We can get started right away. As I mentioned, we already have a prime plot of land set aside for you. It's a bit southeast of here and it has an excellent view. Uh, uh, up there. While well, it is a bit far away, there's a shrine over in that direction, okay? Another member of our staff will meet you on the hill to the left of the shrine. Speak with him there for more details. <laughs> Hope you enjoy building your ideal home, dream home, Savork. Home on a range. Savota. Maybe to meet the staff member oh. on the side. I prepared a plot of land for you southeast of here with an excellent view. Okay. Mm. Your staff is waiting for you on the hill to the left of the shrine. Speak with him there for more details. <laughs> Hope you enjoy building your new home. Uh, uh, let's grab my horse. <laughs> Talk to those people later. Huh. What? Huh, what comes? That works. No, let's keep the old picture. I just needed a picture of a book copy.
Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. it's all the same. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, only. 170 more steps to Terry Town. Well, I'm sure people will try it, so I won't have to. But I'm kind of curious. This way to Terry Town, ask Hudson construction about your dream home. Not there. Ah, here? Oh. Let's get through the shrine first. Provides a evil, yeah. Bring around vehicles. Uh. <laughs> I thought those break quite easily. There's another vehicle though inside there. Yeah, that's the last one. What a waste of time, it's just a single one there. Yeah. Test two heads against an enemy to see how he aims. Okay, now 
somebody here. Ah, you. You? Grantesson. You changed your name? Hello, you must be Link. I'm Grantesson of Hudson Construction. Ronson told me about you. I'm here to answer all your home building questions. In fact, why don't I get started with an overview of the process? First, if I could direct your attention this way. Ah. This is the plot of land you purchased. What's this area like here before in the previous game? If you want to place rooms, we sell here. Well, you're on your way to building a one-of-a-kind dream home. Let's see. It looks like your contract includes two rooms. Excellent. Two rooms to get to get it started. Good choice. One moment, please. Yeah, I chose that. Oh, quite larger. Didn't expect. I thought it was just a square each. These are the rooms. The one on the left is a foyer, and the one on the right is a bedroom. Uh, they are covered with nets to protect the interiors, but don't worry, we will move them once construction is complete. Ah. Now all we need to do is place both rooms on the ground. Arrange the rooms so that they fit nicely within the rope boundaries. Mm. One more thing, you can only place rooms in the rope off area. Please remove any other items before the inspection. Now, let me know when you're done so I can perform the inspection. With that, please fully enjoy taking your first step towards building your dream home. What you mean I have to unequip my... I... I can't see, I'm done building. How do I, how do, I do this? Now all you need to do is place both rooms on the ground, arrange the rooms so they can fit nicely within the rope boundaries. One more thing, you can only place rooms in the rope of areas. Please remove any other items before the inspection. Okay. Uh, you're free to remodel your house as often as you please, so don't be shy. Uh, and it passes through. Well, I don't really have many options here, do I, right now? Okay, huh? I'm done building. I'll start inspection right away. Oh. If any problems during the inspection, you're free to go inside. Uh -huh. Tell me that was your first time. Nice work. Your dream home is complete at last. Mm. So, congratulations. Ah. I'll call Ronto over. Please wait here for, ju for just a moment. This she's coming on the way here. Why didn't she accompany me here? Sorry for the wait. How are things going? Are you happy with your investment? Of course, this is only the first step. The real building process begins now. <laughs> I hope you continue to explore building uh, your dream home. After all, Hudson Construction sells a variety of room options. Speak with Grantesson if you want to know more about them. This isn't much, but here's a little gift to celebrate starting your dream home. Ah, uh, Hudson Construction Fabric. A uh, tough fabric bearing a Hudson Construction design. It looks like it could be used to make paraglider. Uh. I'll be by your side for as long as it takes to build the home of your dreams. Why don't you take a look at the inside of the rooms you placed? Come on, open. So I suppose uh, I, I don't have the house in a tent anymore. What about the picture with the champions? Enjoy, it's uh, mm. done. Once again, congratulations on having the construction project done. 
I hope my introduction on the whole process was clear enough. After all, you can have so much to build. So much more. Uh, maybe you like your, your house to have more of the comforts of home. Or maybe some convenient features. Convenient features. If you want to give any of that a try, don't tarry. Just talk to Grantson. That's me. At Hansel Construction, we offer a variety of customization options. Just buy a new room and remodel away. New rooms are investment, which is why you can preview your options so you make the right choice, the choice that's right for you. Now then, ah. do you have a construction request? Will well, you're in the right place. I'll start building. Mm. Okay, I'll give you a moment, please. No, I want you to know what can I buy. So I probably don't have money. Oh. Thanks for waiting. We're all set to bring construction. Ah. If you need anything, just let me know. Yeah. Rules. Ah. So I need more rules. Oh. I'm gonna change your rules. Say no more. Uh, what can I do for you? I'll buy or preview rules. I'll start rules. Ah, I can sell ah. them back. Oh, even angles. Furnished. Ah. Ah, and I can use another on top. Furnished. But do I choose what kind of furnishing go inside? Because this is a dining room. Ah, weapon stain room. Bow stain. Ah. Different shield gallery. Ah, this room has a frame suitable for hanging and painting. You show a picture to grant this one, and he'll paint a replica of it, to, it for you. Bedroom, like the one I already have. Kitchen. Ah, a shrine completely got the statue. You can pray to it for, or straight whenever you want. Paddock. Oh. A place where you can keep one one of your registered horses. Grandson will contact the step association to bring the horse for you. Oh, the foyer. The simple unit of, with a door that can serve as an entrance or exit. Study. Ah, indoor stairs. I can't just place one on top of the other. I need to get stairs. Outdoor stairs. Garden pond, an elegant, well lit, L shaped pond. Comes with. Ah, it comes with a purchase bonus of a sanke carp. It can also be used without water, depending on how it's placed. Okay, if I flip it or. Flower bed. Comes with beautiful flower bed. Place on top of the unit, and you got a rooftop garden. Yeah. I guess I can pick some flowers there. Good, but I, I can pay for you know, them right now. But interesting. Yeah, but it'll probably take a while for me to stop here and actually, actually go through them. Quests, any construction tips? You've got it. What do you want to know? Uh, what are the rules? I don't think you place it's a matter of safety, you understand? We can ensure structural integrity if anything else. Also, you want to avoid having anything sticking out over the rope as that tends to cause problems. Oh. Let me know if the beating. Any placement tips? <laughs> the trick to placing rooms is trying lots of different things. Just as the name implies, room units are built with a common standard. Which means you can place them vertically, horizontally, diagonally, however alike. Uh, but you may want to think twice about placing your room units at steep angle. If you do, you may be unable to place accessories or use room features. So bear that in mind. Anything else? What's the room limit? Ah. It's right there. You can place up to 15 room units on the plot line. If you want to swap rooms, place place rooms you don't want outside the rope. Oh. Uh, the construction the construction finish. I'll collect the rooms you put there. I remember, if I'm holding on to rooms for you, you can ask me to take them out anytime. Else, no, never mind. Ah. Uh, okay, beauty. Mm. 
I just want to see if... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be open like that. If I leave. Oh, uh, that'll be open as well. Out of the way. I'll mess with it. Some other time. What if I just leave you there? Oh, where are you going? Okay, maybe that's faster than go talk to you sometimes. <laughs> if you up and left during construction, I don't know what I do with myself. Just tell me if you want to run, okay? Huh. There's still plenty of seven princesses around. Uh, the indoor carrots aren't here anymore. Oh, the guard isn't here anymore. What do you do now? Sava Sava. Sava Sava. Uh, what do you think of your dream home? You can customize it even further by purchasing additional rooms from Grand Sun. I hope you try out a bunch of different combinations and really make your dream home yours. Even my daughter Metzel has talked about wanting a dream home of her own and... <sighs> I'm sorry. Whenever I let my mind wander, I start thinking about Metzel again. To Gerudo, it is a wonderful thing when we return to Gerudo town. It is, it is not too really. But I just worry about her. I hope that she'll be okay on her own and that she's doing well. Okay, guys, I got a picture. Rain, rain, what a shame. I don't mind the rain, but when the rain, I can still explain. Uh, what I'm trying to say is okay. How about this picture? Yeah, that's exactly. That's the book I'm looking for. Uh, no, this is a good picture. Let me use it for a reference. I can make this sculpture, no problem. Uh, may we borrow it? Of course. How? J just leave it to me. I'll get it made sun and done. Quickly, quality, bling, we are done. Okay. Uh, okay, Nick's waiting around and he, he laid the poor bed, not the picture. Oh, he made the one I... And it was in the same pose? Oh, so done as promised. Oh, look at this. It is the very monster sculpture I've been look longing for. It was easy. I thought it would be a regular uh, red one. Oh, there's his brother. Now, pretty please, would you pick the perfect spot to display this sculpture on the stage over yonder? Oh. I'm afraid I can't do that. What? Oh. I've got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility. Not that my thing. Oh, but who arranged it on the stage for me? Oh, I hope I can make... This isn't bad, but I hope I can make others. Or remake, the, make, remake this one. This is the first one. Leave it there. I got a wrong against making that kind of decision. Much responsibility, I think. Oh, but who arranged it? This is for me. I found a nice spot for it. Uh, what did you just say? Oh... Such artistry, it's everything I've ever hoped it would be. And in so realistic too, it's as if my nose holes might catch a whiff of monster scent at any moment. Ooh. It's true, even I could mistake that sculpture for a living, breathing monster. <laughs> yes, now you must show it to every eyeball in the village. Uh, here ye, here ye, come, look, see. 
I present to you the famed Bokoblin. Do not fear, draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place. Ma. Oh. You look at it like this. It is rather cute. <laughs> uh, this sight has stolen your eyes. Now, give me your ears. All of them. Without further ado, this adorable cuddleable monster is called a Bokoblin. They make house a a home throughout Hyrule and are perhaps the monster you've rubbed shoulder bones with most. <laughs> with their large floppy ears and cute gloofy snouts, they one can't help but want to give them a tight squeeze. Sadly, their social skills are quite stunted. Uh, it's best to look elsewhere for a friendly embrace. <laughs> Goodness, yes. Uh, I do feel like giving it a hug all of a sudden. <laughs> Look and learn. Then you won't hate. Understand what you fear and you'll feel great. For those with open, an open mind, wonders always await. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you once more. You've not only helped my younger brother, but me too. Please take this as a token of my thankfulness. It's a concoction of my own making, you may, you might say. Uh, monster ext extract. A result of Kilton's research into monsters, this suspicious spice can be used to punch up dishes while cooking. Apparently, it can be made to it can be used to make a number of monsters meals. <laughs> you are a great artist, worth of renown, and because of you, I've taken the first step towards making my dream come true. I have long desired to collect sculptures of monsters from around the world and display them all uh, for all the eyeballs to see. I hope this will help shine a light on these magnificent creatures and the many wonderful ways about them. Everyone in the village seems to like it, so I could probably make more. <laughs> Haru, really? In the case, I implore you to make a horribly next. Oh, there's a cave for him. Uh, Horblings have big hands, like whoosh, and a coat that's quite woo wow. They also enjoy swinging from the ceiling. Mm. Mm. Uh, your description? No, I still don't know what it looks like. Mm. Sorry, so sorry. I am awful describer of things. I would draw you a detailed picture of a horrible if I could, but there is no art to be found in the mod's body. For not, for I kill to describe the monster in fervor and many time over, should no help. Okay. What happens if I. Ah. What oh, a fair. You shouldn't have moved my sculpture there. Quickly, please put it back. Okay, just checking. Oh, this monster sculpture is precious to me. It belongs here. Please don't take it away. The nice thing would be like uh, a bonfire in, in many monsters sitting around. Like those caveman exhibitions. Oh, the dog. Dogs. One of them is done. Okay, I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's just one here. Ah, oh, whatever. I don't think it's gonna work. Let's go. Okay. Okay, I found it. Good dog. Oh, ow. 
my shield. Ah, there's another. This is the girl I spoke to. Okay, so I haven't spoken to you. Ah, and there's another one there. Ah, Truxel. I spoke to you. Good morning. Ah, hey, you're the guy I met at the village. I finally introduced myself to all proper to President Hudson. Oh. He told me they need, uh, they don't need help. Uh, it's way more help than I anticipated. Got some good sleeping in and ready to do some heavy lifting. Are you here to help out too? If you do, watch out for the holes I made while I was working. You could fall right in. Oh, okay. Let's fall right in. Oh. Mm. I don't think I can. Alright. And this other guy. Uh huh. Chipson. Uh, from what I've been hearing, Goro City is back in business. Uh, which means I better hurry up and finish work out here so I can get back to Noboko HQ. You're a traveler? Careful now, the ground is uneven, what with all the debris everywhere. I wouldn't wander around too much if I were you. looking for you got your help you again if you come here this early you probably don't have much to do do you this place uh, somewhere uh, not because job is very precious part they miss a head so everyone on this every team there's the other developers things let's stop secrets the top secret stuff, stop secret. I mean, the noble co workers here, and I've got some to keep and sort to keep mouth shut. Okay. Uh, you okay with me now? Good morning. Huh? You again? Uh, did I didn't tell you that this is a Hudson construction sign. You were doing critical work and you were. Nice, where is your falling? Got it. I tried to tell. Okay, I thought maybe Hudson told you who I was by now. Oh, yeah. It's here, isn't it? I forgot about that. Oh. Is it worth it? Small wheel, small wheel, small wheel, fan, string stick, rocket, and another small wheel. Okay, so what is your quest? You tricked us. It's like I told you. What happened here? Fernson. Ah, is this guy from? had some construction uh, this isn't what we agreed to we left the desert and tracked all the way here because it said we get to drive a vehicle like no one's ever seen before and now that we're here the only vehicle you've got is this piece of junk that no one can control what kind of fools do you take us for Aww. you've got it all wrong it's like you said before I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of the sonic devices in other debris that fell from the sky. Eh, yes, it's true. We haven't figured out how to control these vehicles. But that's why we asked you here. We are hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. So was it? Uh, oh, what are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? 
Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Um, you found nothing among the Zona devices capable of controlling your vehicles. Mm. Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Terry Town work. Ah. Hey, hey, I'm staying right here. Don't come, come me out of this little chit chat. Then you say those old thingamabobs are from the Age of Legends. You're trying to tell me something that old and run down is too useful, please. Oh. We did come all the way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's part for a racer to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it what you taught me? It wasn't you who taught me that, Shabon. Oh. Uh, fine. If Tali wants to help, then it helps what you do. And you guys didn't even acknowledge me? Uh -huh. uh, uh, good afternoon. You're not with Hudson Construction, are you? Yes, he's here. He must be involved somehow. Oh. The name is Ferguson. I'm working with Hudson on a Zona device research project. It's a pleasure to meet you. In fact, right now, we're prototyping new vehicles. Unfortunately, we've run into a bit of a problem. We haven't found a zone device capable of controlling the vehicles. We tried all of the devices in the town, but none of them worked. We even brought in a couple of top-notch Gerudo racers to get their advice. But I'm afraid that things that, that made things worse. Try this steering stick. Oh, what? I thought I had to attach there. What is this? I've never seen a zone device like this before. But I don't think you can do anything with it. Not like this anyway. I wish there was a way we could use it. <laughs> Try it on that vehicle prototype there so we can see how it works. How about you guys? Ah. Hey, hey, Tali is a special guy, the best of the best. A Vulcan just walk up to her and start chatting. What about you? Ah! What's this? I thought you wouldn't give you the time of day. So, so you thought you'd just start babbling with at me? Well, listen here. We tracked all the way here from the region, which is far to the southwest, for information. And we did all this all because someone said we could drive a vehicle like the likes of which no one has ever seen. What a joke. Anyway. You might say I'm real disappointed, and you can definitely say I'm real in a real bad mood. So, since there's no control thing around here, how about you just make yourself useful and go somewhere else and find one? Oh, and another thing, I'm sick of, sick and tired of this, this and so that. So, no, so anything out of you. Got it? Uh, okay, I I haven't used any yet, any device yet. That's the first one I'm getting from a capsule. Take count. Ah, just pops here. <laughs> no, so that's how we set it up. Yes, yes, now I see how it could be used to steer something. Could you come here for a moment? I have a favor to ask. Ah. Please, could you show us what exactly this device is capable of? Ah. I don't get it. The weird thing's gonna make the huge contraption move. Say all the fancy words in silly jargon you like, but I, I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see. Uh, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a moment while I get everything ready to, for test drive. I'm gonna make a... Mm. Uh, let's see, I think I flip the switches here and here and yes. What? Gonna make a road for me? Ah. Oh, I thought we were gonna make a road. Ta -da! It's a test drive course, you see? Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them. So, here's what I'd like you to do. Touch all the lights and return to where you started within the time limit. Do that and we'll call the test drive a success. 
Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly. But if this device works, <laughs> we'll have built another new vehicle. Uh, one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or go too far, of course. Uh, we won't be able to retreat driving data if you do that. Yeah. Everything is ready now. If you don't mind, I'd like you to give it a try. I'll do it. Yeah. Then let's get started. Go ahead and board the vehicle. Uh, now let me quickly remind you of the rules. It's simple really, just touch off the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit. Oh, we don't let go of the steering device or go far, too far of course. We can drive the data we need, okay. Finally, things are getting interesting around here. You better believe I'll be keeping a close eye on your technique. Hurry. Uh, just those. Not heck to go through it all. Ah. I don't believe it. I never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Ah. Ooh, technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tali? <laughs> Uh, no one who loves racing could watch that and not feel excited. Eh? We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. <coughs> I must figure out this on a device's full capabilities. And uh, I'm calling on you to help me out. Here, please, consider this a down payment. <laughs> now you're an official member of our team. Uh. Do I get a suite like that? Oh, also, you're welcome to have this. Uh. Ah. It's a sleepover ticket for a stable. The uh, closest one to here is probably the South Ocala stable. Oh. Head straight down the road, you can't miss it. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. I hope you are as, ex as excited as about it as I am. Yeah. See, the vehicle is up and running, so don't accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start work on the Terry Town Race Project, and finally I can do just that. Now it's time for me to start preparing a test course. Ah. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear me complaining any complaining for us. The Terry Town Race? Uh, yes, I'm looking forward to it. Can we catch it now? Uh, I am so grateful you found this steering stick. Now I can get to work on the project I'm most excited about, the Terry Town Race. Thank you, really. <laughs> the Terry Town Race project is an important part of the effort to develop new vehicles. Uh, it's almost ready. I just need to wrap up some fine details. I need a bit of time to prepare, but it shouldn't take long. While you wait, why not get a bit of rest at the stable? You, you can put that free sleepover ticket to good use. Do I have to? Mm. And this more to be than I thought. It's not just about the driving technique, it's also about how the driver makes use of the vehicle's unique capabilities. Oh. As I watched you run the course from the sidelines, your approach enlightened me. You have my thanks, Sarkso. Uh, I got a good look at your driving skills with these eyes of mine, though. Mark my words, when the preparations for the Terraton race are complete, you'll be back. Why, you ask? Uh, you have the heart of a racer, that's why. You can resist the pull of the driver's seat for long. Driver's seat? That's the first car in Hyrule and you have that kind of 
expression. They're everywhere. Uh, the once understanding of the strange power of the zone civilization will broaden the scope of the practical application of the devices. Ah. No oh, apologies, I was lost in thought. The zoning devices here all fell from the sky. I surveyed various regions, but I haven't seen devices in this quantity anywhere but Terry Town. Mm. My research into practical applications application is progressing well. I've studied the zoning civilization for a long time. To us, Zona Obsessed Research Team members, this place is a paradise. Ah. You are free to take what you please. Removal will not hinder my research. Uh, for so many Zona devices to be concentrated in one area, could they still be in production on the Sky Islands? Is that even possible? Oh yeah, gotta go up there. <laughs> 